back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I am Dan. I am Mike. Dan? <laughs> oh boy, what are we drinking? Oh, Mike, we're gonna make bad decisions right now. Uh, mm -hmm. This is <laughs> from the Dogfish Head Brewing Company. And they're out of Delaware. Well, they were. Ooh, yeah, nice. Uh, at the time of when they made this, it was yes, in Delaware. It was. Um, it's 120 IPA. <laughs> yeah, no, just oh, okay. All right. There's no ABV. Uh, okay. Anyways, why don't you you want to look up the ABV? You got? I don't have my phone on me. I'll look it up. I think the ABV on that fluctuates anyway. Yeah. Like they always uh, say. So it. this is Dogfish Head 120 minute IPA 2017 uh, variant. Yeah. So uh, look at the ABV. See, it says it ages well. They say that. And it does. I, I've had yeah, no, I, I had an Asian one. bottle of this, and it's delicious. so I, I think I had a 2017, but that was years ago. So yeah, yeah. All right, I'll tell you what. All right, you look it up. Oh wait, there. That's the oh. date. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's ABV. You never know, dude. Uh, no, uh, bottled on 12 14 2017. So December. All right, you open up. I right. look up the See what you can ABD. Find. I don't have my phone on me either. So doesn't um, even matter then. Nope. I will tell you what, we do have a, what, 2022? Yep. Yep, we got uh, 2022. Um, that, that is 16.6. Okay. I want to say this is like 17 something. You may be right. I'm like, I remember. Um, so this bottle comes courtesy of our good pal Frank. Uh, he and I had bought a bunch of 2017 back in the day. And every year we open one up and give it a try. And it's generally quite the experience. <laughs> last year, it just, they knocked me down. No, nah, I'm going to leave there. Uh, okay. But last year, we opened it up. We opened up a 2017 with a 2023 uh, Utopia Sparrow bottle. I, and I'm pretty sure if you drink what's on the bottom of this bottle right you now. You might die. You're going to start Jurassic World in your park. And yeah. Like, in, in your stomach. Like, Jurassic World, the the park, like all the pterodactyls, raptors, pterodactyls. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is. Some beers today. Look at this. It's gorgeous looking, toffee, all sorts of crap, Holy and just suspended God, animation I'm in there. You, that's the mosquito at the end of the, the amber ball. Oh yeah. Um, Jurassic Park is was made in this beer. So that that is like a. a the brown is like, it's almost like a glowing brown, though. You know what I mean? Mm hmm It it looks like the most oxidized IPA in the it world. It does. A swirled up with just a thin film of a head shows up and it dissipates rather quickly. You know, I've had people ask me, um, and I kind of know some stuff now that I didn't before, but okay. people are like, I thought you're not supposed to age IPAs, drink IPAs fresh. Right. Uh, listen... They classify this as an IPA, but to me, it's sort of like uh, Bigfoot. It's a, it's a barley wine style ale. That's yeah, it's yeah, I, I agree with you there. It, and I mean, it says right on the bottle, age as well. Yeah, so I'm not going to argue with him. Let's get a whiff. Oh, boy. Deep brown burnt sugars. Yeah. Like you were just melting up those caramel squares on the stove. Maybe they got a little too hot. Touch of dusty cellar. <laughs> Not a lot of hot presents. Really? Because I was I got a little bit on a couple aromas. A couple aromas. A couple sniffs. Compared, um, compared to that Bigfoot, though. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a different aroma. Um, there some... was a bit of like piney spruce... Uh, in there as well. Just a oh, hint of citrus. It almost comes off like a English barley wine. Oh, it really does. You're right. Subtle. Oh, I guess I could get that piney thing. Yeah. Oh, you getting that? Yeah. It, it's it's there. Oh man, it's it smells good. It's got like it does got like this deep resin kind of. Yeah. Like epoxy kind of thing going on. <laughs> No hot dogs. No hot dogs. Right, Cheers. Diamonds. Cheers. Thanks, Frank. Frank the Tank. Oh, buddy. Oh, jeez. For 
for zero ABV, Mr. <laughs> Taste no alcohol from the uh, NA dogfish head. <sighs> Buddy. That is a hearty beverage. This is. Uh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, this is. This is the stuff that's going to make you a man. <laughs> <laughs> I finally feel myself hitting puberty, and it's glorious. Uh, oh, man. There is this... There's like this sweet vanilla custard aspect to mm. this. Mm. So, oh, you're right. Think about... You are right. It's like a, a chocolate turtles bar. But well, like a vanilla custardy custardy thing, but then it plays well with the, the kind of like orange marmalade, topped on some like uh, wheat toast, with like maybe some sprigs of like a, like a, a fresh pine cone or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is like. It gives you pause. Like, it's. I feel like I'm moving in pause. That's <laughs> right. Why I feel like I'm just like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Think about it. It's. It's such a. It sounds weird to say, but it is a quietly complex beer. Like, there's so much going on. I still stand by saying it drinks like a liquor. Like, you almost feel like this should be in like a rocks glass or something. Yeah, I'm pretty just, sure this is like 17%. It's got to like, be. It, you, you, the littlest sip has so much going on in it. Um, there's a really nice like, uh, to go on your vanilla ice cream bit, there's like a apple strudel kind of flaked crust note in it. Um, there's still that piney... Uh, sea hop citrus note in there, um, but it's it's such a heavy weighted beer. Like each sip feels like you're just there, there is alcohol burn. Oh yeah, there's an alcohol no, stringency I'm... big time. <laughs> At first, I was like, I was like, it also it almost comes off like you ate some hot wings, like that burn. Oh wow, okay. And not the taste, but just the right, right burn. the burn. Yeah, and I was trying to think. I was like, what was it? We were stacking on like we got like corn salsa in there. We're like, oh, maybe I got some residuals, but no, it's it's, no, it's, it's the beer. Uh, it's, here's the thing: you'd be hard pressed, at least I am, to classify this as an IPA. I don't care what they say. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you ever had one twenty? Mm -hmm. Me too, and it was like nothing I'd ever put in my mouth before. <laughs> and it was no, no, like, no fresh. It, it's got some fresh. It's got some like it's all hop bite and hop character and piney citrus. Oh jeez! But it's just settled in. Yeah, this is something you really just sit there and sip. You sit, Ever so you, slowly. You sit back. You just think about everything and nothing at the same time, and just enjoy what it is. Yeah. Mm. It's going to open your mind and turn it off at the same time. Sit on your front porch. Stare at the sky. Sip on this. Begin to wonder what's out there. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know what I mean? We, we've thrown that term around before. It's a contemplative beer. Uh, this is one of them. If I was in death row, I'd probably ask for an aged dog for that. <laughs> 120 minute IPA. Like it, it, no, it's it's just... It, it's it's going to prolong the... It really is just... Me. It's an equ... It's a very just savory, just wonderful kind of just sweet sipper. And I, I know a lot of people shit on Dogfish Head now because, you know, they got bought out or whatever, sold the right. Boston Beer Company right. or whatever. But, like, a classic 120-minute IPA aged is just, it's wonderful, man. It really it's is. It's just like, this is what beer is and should be. And Yeah. 
I mean, when you talk about aging beers and aging bottles and everything like that, this is like a quintessential aged beer. Now, this gets, it does get sweet. I'm not going to lie. Oh, sure. There's still like a candied, like toffee sweetness. That's why I in say there. sit there and sit yeah. on this for a while. And like, we talk about it's nice to share, you know, a big 16 ounce can or a big bomber bottle or something, but this. This is just enough to share right here. And then some, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we've said everything we could probably say about this beer. We'd probably just end up repeating ourselves yeah. in different ways. Yeah, time after time. Yeah. Um, um, time, time, time after time. time. Oh, my God. I want you to listen to that song, go out on the porch, wonder about what's out there, and drink this beer. That's that's the homework you have from this review. And then go watch Top Gun. Uh, I, was, uh, I was thinking about Napoleon Dynamite. But okay. No, Top Gun Maverick. Oh, my God. They didn't... Okay. What a great movie that is. Nothing to do with this beer, but I'm just... I'm thinking about how great of a movie that is. It's like the culmination of my teenage years. And just like... I needed this to complete my life. <laughs> That was it. That's what you needed to complete your life. Like, I just I can only imagine how gun. I can only imagine how fulfilled Tom Cruise must be to finally to put that film out there and get the praise that it got. <laughs> and it's just a wonderful film. Like this with this, it's the culmination. It's the culmination of the end of a journey for an IPA or a strong ale and a fighter pilot. I just, I enjoy the fact that even though you think your life has culminated because of that movie, I can always bring you back by saying, oh, I've never seen all of the first Top Gun, so. I don't even know what a Maverick is. I think it's his dog. That makes me sick. Wasn't stomach. that the brand of the piano he was playing? Did you watch Maverick? I watched a quarter of it in Spanish. Okay. Why? Um, because that's what they were playing on the bus in Mexico. Really? Yeah. You got on a bus to playing Top Gun Maverick. Yeah. With subtitles. And this is why I told you you got to wonder what's out there. It was it was overdubbed too, like the voices. Yeah. It was pretty great. I was like, oh, this is a good movie. Dan was right. With Danny Trejo, top <laughs> Tom Cruise. <laughs> no, he was just some white guy. It's, it's talking. Hey, guys, we're all Top Gun Mavericks now. <laughs> and there was more shirtless uh, sports being played or whatever. Boy. This thing has devolved. I um, like this beer, which is evolved. I'm, I'm pretty calm right now. Yeah, I'm like in a, good. I'm like in a Zen moment right now. Yeah, it's, it's like, nice when a beer can do and that. And people are just watching this, and somebody's gonna watch this and be like, they've they've seen it, they've been through it. <laughs> those guys have seen some shit, and one of those shits is Top Gun Maverick. Yeah. You guys like Top Gun? You guys like Dogfish Head? Let us know. Uh, what do you rate it? I think you got to rate the beer you have in front of you. Yeah. I was just, like, I was thinking about it. And it's like, you almost have to rate it. Like, it's in a class of its own. But I'll just. I don't know. I'll get a, I'll get a 4.9. I think for what it. Yeah. I'm right up there. I don't know what would kick it up to a five. I don't know either. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, this age, it's a five. Fuck off. Yeah. <sighs> I have more on this. That's great. Yeah, maybe we'll open one another time. Yeah. I want to go down the cellar see see what down what's down there. Cause I there's caps. Uh, yeah, you always know dogfish head like the high. Oh joints. yeah, caps yeah. the danger. Yep. So. Yep. All right, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this nice, somber, calm, congratulatory, retrospective. <laughs> For once, we're not hooting and hollering and yelling like children. 
And all it took was a beer from Frank to calm us down. Time. After time, time after time. All right. Down description below. All the links. Hit us up. I look forward to speaking with you. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. You know what? Real quick. Real quick. And I want to do this now. Oh, okay. Just to see who actually watches. Oh, uh, okay. We do another Hydrox moment? No, I just I just want to... I'd like to shout out a, a viewer of ours. Oh, okay. I'd like to shout out uh, Josh McLean. Uh, so he's a viewer. He actually... Can't, he's been a viewer for a while. No. Yep. Way. Okay. Um, hashtag beard bros. Um, so he recently dropped a comment on one of our videos. And he's like... Mm -hmm. And he's like, hey, guys, glad to see you again. Uh, basically, he had a stroke over the summer. Yeah. He can't drive. He's, like, still rehabbing and stuff. So mm -hmm. I just want to give you a shout-out. And, uh, you know. Right on. You know, yeah, we be, talked about doing that, this, and it was a good pull. I, you know what? That's cool you made it out of it. And, you know, you keep trucking and doing what you got to do. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm glad that we can bring some joy to your life or whatever. So yeah, maybe be a pleasant distraction. Yeah. If anything else that's going on. So, all right, man. Hey. Uh, cheers to you. This one's. Thanks uh, for watching. Cheers.